Welcome back to Trend Wins Dismantle. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping I still have all my perks because this is suspicious that I have all these level 1 abilities, but I kind of remember being uh, stumped on what last perk to get. So we can get XP from storing materials, fishing, everything, plant growth speed, or heal yourself with healing items. Hmm, probably this one, realistically. Uh, because I'm, go I'm going to be ahead of the XP curve for some time, I imagine. We'll go with Doctor. All the more battle abilities. Let's see if we can get any more levels too before we continue. Stop monster respawning. The monsters on this area come back each time you rest up campfire. There must be a way to stop that from happening. Invent Link Tower Toolkit and install Deadly Transmission to a Link Tower. So this is a tutorial quest because there were some people that were very confused why zombies kept appearing. <laughs> so I might have already finished it, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. It's been some time since I last played this manual, so several patches have rolled in. And we're going to try to explore those areas in the order they were released in. Getting Doctor 2. And I guess we're getting Hoarder 2. Hoarder 3. Let's see if there's any inventions that we should take care of. Okay, I see little dots here. I don't think that used to be there before. Don't have any cactuses. Cacti. Okay. Now it says throwable damage versus monsters. Plus 200%. My first thought is, I wonder if it will hurt me. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, it's already equipped. Good. So I want to go back to recipes. Okay, this escape apparently. So even if I don't use it, it's good to still build the things because having more items unlocks more inventory slots. Lights up the darkness, sure, let's put that on for a little bit. Alright, let's try throwing one of these. <sighs> oh wait, I, I, I forget how to change my item. I thought it was a mouse wheel, maybe not. Okay, apparently it's two. Maybe it's always been two. First off, let's just toss one of these in the ground and see if it detonates on us. Alright, now let's lure a monster into it and see if that hurts. No, it doesn't. I'm pleasantly surprised. I kind of figured I was going to be face planting in a second here. Let's see how this works in battle, then. That went off a lot faster than I thought it was gonna. About 200 damage. 90 damage there. Now, grenades should still hurt, but I think they hurt before. Yeah, that, grenades hurt, but proximity mines don't. How far can I throw this? One way to welcome myself back to the game. Let's go ahead and install this deadly transmission. All right, this will cost me one of my can't cover one of my beads. Or pearls and six of my scraps. Stops killed monsters from respawning. Each monster permanently killed this way drops one mana B. Yes, let's do it. It's part of the quest, so. Alright, and now monsters will no longer respawn. They they still have to be slaughtered. And they'll drop a mana bead as a result. Oh come on, what's wrong with my flashlight? Mana? Really? Is this a thing now? Like, I knew there were mana pills of cyanide. 
Now there were some dudes that I killed already that I don't have mana beads for, so I'm kind of curious what happens with that. Let's camp now and see if they, they respawn to drop off a bead. So I think that's what will happen. I see a save icon down there. I think that's new too. Yeah, I see him in the map. So if I kill him, he'll drop a bead now, and that should be the last time he appears. She appears. Alright, uh, let's see what else is there to do. All right, I wrote in order of the patch notes. There's Narrow's Veil, Sunburn Desert, Fool's Canyon, Serpent's Crossing, and then Mystery Zone. So we'll try to access those areas in that order. Um, so this is Narrow's Veil. Okay, that's going to be first. And that's all I know for right now. Okay, I was going to say, I thought I had access to 4 before, but yeah, this is 4. This is Central. Okay. Then we're going to head this direction. Apparently some of these guys just automatically straight up die. I don't know about some of these. Oh, it's, I think it's probably because this zone, they were not respawning in this zone. Alright, so here's Narrow's Veil, so how do I get through it? Oh, right here. Okay. Alright, that flashlight's a bit annoying. Am I supposed to be doing something about that? I brought it with me because I thought it would make recording easier. on my mini-map. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember my war on bushes now. <laughs> this is where one of the link towers were. were. I, I hope it's not just leading me there. Describes a legend of the ancient folks who inhabited the island. It all started when the great blue tear came from the sky. With great thunder it hit the Mother Earth, and ripped her open. This is how Mana came to us. A bittersweet gift from the sky. Find and investigate myth tablets. Maybe mana did come from the outer space within a meteorite or something. It's just gonna be the same thing. Yeah, I think it is. Can I skip through it? Or are we gonna we're gonna clicking, clicking, click oh wait. It's holes? Hey, okay, click and hold. Okay, it's kind of interesting. Let's check out this shelter. We'll hit the campfire first and then go to the shelter afterwards. See if anything has happened with the shelter. See if it's been implemented at all. First, we're gonna get rid of this flashlight. Well, maybe I can upgrade it. Oh, I can upgrade a lot of stuff. Okay. Now I wonder if, if these get nerfed so then you upgrade it. So for example, did this always have power attack damage 15% or was it somewhere in the middle before? It also be, would be nice if it showed me what I currently had equipped. 
Okay, it doesn't look like flashlights in here. Using something that gives me strafing ability. Is it in here? Do we, do we not see it? So I try not to, I, I haven't really been spending resources on things I have no intention of using. Um, because while I do have plenty of scrap wood and scrap metal, I remember being short on rubber all the time. So titanium, I would need titanium for this. That's some bandolier. Ooh. Well, this this doesn't actually improve it any, but I'm not quite sure what it improves. It may... <laughs> we'll go and upgrade it. Maybe it'll get better later. There we go. Ah, all right. There's scraping speed. Gonna need some titanium. I'm not gonna go with that yet. Okay, I didn't click anything, it just suddenly. Okay, <laughs> that's. Yeah, that's just. I. I... <laughs> How's, how long is that gonna keep? How long is that gonna keep going for? It sounds like it's getting quieter. But like it's, it sounds like it's fading away very, very slowly. All right. Well, what I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and exit, and we'll be right back. It's still going. <laughs> Oh yeah, I wanted to check out that shelter. It, there's probably nothing there. I want to leave the deer alone. In areas where I've already established the no respawn rules, I try to leave the deer alone. <laughs> I am the axe murderer wandering the forest at night. Yes, rubber was so scarce they decided to just put tires in the bird's nest. So fishing isn't normally this fast. Uh, for you, I'll be speeding it up. Is oh I way I ran way past it. Okay, guess nothing yet. Are there any more tablets I should uncover? Uh, let's see here. Filters, little toggle none, and then myth tablets. Let's see if that helps. Okay, I can. Um, all right, I'm going to hit all these myth tablets before we continue. 
Let's see here. Filters. Can I show location names off? Show completed items off. Just kind of clean it up a bit. So I will need to hit that. Filters. Link towers. So this will tell me where that I need to run here, so I can warp there and go there. Um, so one, two. Don't see anything here, but time just. Don't see anything here either. These may be needing things like um. Yeah, I still see the the barrier right there. So something that to, to, to cross the region. So yeah, there's a barrier right there. So do I really only see that and that? I would have thought there'd be more. Okay, well, whatever. Um, that'll hit these real fast. So you'll just see the, the supercut version of that. Here we are. It describes a legend of the ancient folks who inhabited the island. The bringer of great knowledge, the one-armed king, came to us from the skies. We welcomed the king to our tribe. We greeted him as one of our own. Did they meet an angel or an alien? Or is that story just greatly exaggerated? It describes a legend of the ancient folks who inhabited the island. The one-armed king taught us about manna. We learned to make many great things. But only the king knew sorcery without manna. Why would he not teach us this? Considering what our scientists and engineers have built from manna, maybe the ancient folks were onto something. We are back. Okay, stupid boy, you can just die. So reawakens my Warren Bush. The terminal next to the wall appears to have short circuited. Probably something to do with the humidity of the area. Perhaps it can be fixed. Bring the required materials with you and fix the terminal at wall checkpoint row. Alright. Uh, I need 10 electronic and 5 rubber. How <laughs> I need to go back to one of these things. You might as well just add a storage thing next to it, or or automatically take from your storage deposit. This, I, 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 it, I know it makes me sound very negative, but this doesn't actually add any value to the game. It really doesn't. I don't think anybody's gonna say, "Oh, I really enjoyed that part where I had to walk back to the storage deposit to get my stuff." With, and pay XP for that. Alright, we need 10 electronic. And 5 rubber. Turns out that the seals were, that were supposed to keep the electronics dry were faulty. You fixed both of the seals and the innards of the terminal. search. Alright, keep going. Alright, um, there's a campfire there. There is, strangely, no Link Tower in this region that I know about anyways.
really worried about him. I just don't want him blowing up the stuff that I want to check out later. Come on, did you really have to... Oh, that's right. If you sprint... Well, that did a lot of nice damage. I think as he hit me with all at the same time. But, um, yeah, I didn't want him destroying stuff up here. Like, I don't know what this metal used to be. It might, might have been just dropped from them. But I'd like to at least check out the area before they blow it up. brought you any closer, you would die. I do want to check out this place, but I kind of want to map out this territory first. But I guess first things first, let's actually explore this place. Is it raining? Is there a rain effect? Hold on, let me go to options. Systems, options, options, graphics. Alright, maybe it's the wind, I don't know. plant was that? <laughs> oh, didn't mean to throw that. I don't like fighting indoors because I generally end up hitting some other object. It's obnoxious. Like that. I'm, I'm trying to hit this chair here. Oh, okay, see? Maybe I have to hit it with a bat. Okay, I will give the game to do then. There's a dropped notebook page on the ground. One of the guests is reportedly acting, acting suspiciously. Keeps carrying valuable looking items. Maybe contraband. Motel's office should have the guest and room info. Search for an orange van. Sure. 